Namaste beautiful yogis, welcome to Ali Kamanova Yoga. I'm Ali and today is day six of love yoga. Today's theme is going to be crossing the threshold. So after yesterday, we have already departed. There was the calling probably a mentor or from within or a situation called us to get on a journey. And today, after the resistance, we're finally saying yes and onto a new adventure. This is exciting, it is new, it is the crossing from the past to the future, from the known to the unknown, from the mundane to the extraordinary. So we're creating our future and yoga and everything in life is a metaphor for that. So this class is a metaphor for starting a new page or starting a new adventure. After yesterday's resting class, today we're actually going to build heat, more of a cardio for the heart. And do as much as you can, rest as much as you need it. So let's flow with strength and ease. front of the mat standing I love standing because standing is a representation of your chakras aligning and standing tall owning your own power your own space connecting earth to the ground crown into the sky so the spine is lengthening and we're feeling the body feeling the equilibrium Draw a mental image, uh, axis through the middle of the body that divides the left and the right and the front from the back. Imagining the central mid-axis of the body and just feeling your center. Deepening the breath. And just paying attention, a quick moment to pay attention, left, right side of the body, do they feel the same, is there a difference, how's the front of the body feel, the back side of the body, the posterior chain, how does that feel, just noticing, you don't have to make anything out of it, no conclusions, no judgment, we're just observing tuning into the body and observing it, paying attention, witnessing it, acknowledging it. Yes, I see you is what we're doing. We're just witnessing. Nice deep inhalations. Followed by complete exhalations. Soften the heart as you open the chest. Roll the shoulders back and drop them down. Shoulder blades tucking into the back. Opening the palms of the hands forward so that the chest is open. And begin to connect to your core, to your powerhouse. Chin parallel to the floor. Inhale and lift through the crown of the head as if you're becoming a little taller. Exhale and let your feet drop into the floor a little more. Inhale, lift through the crown. Imagine that you're being pulled up by a string from the crown of the head up. There is a lift lengthening. Exhaling through the feet, letting them drop deeper into the mat. Core connecting. And let's bring the hands over the belly. And draw your navel in and up. So that is engaging the TVA. The TVA, not the six pack muscle, the deep abdominal muscles that wrap around your body like a corset, the corset muscles. They go all the way from the back, all around 
to the front and we're bringing the two sides of it, the left and the right, inward and up, connecting. If you're unsure, after the 30-day love yoga, you can go back to my postpartum series, which is all about finding that connection, that core connection, core love. Beautiful. We're going to sit back in chair. Push your body back as far back as you can and tuck your tailbone slightly. Look down, make sure you can see your toes. If you can't see your toes, push the body further back. Now, go a little deeper and lift your chest a little higher. This is all core strength. If you feel that you want to hang above your thighs, that means your core can support you in your lift so work on it keep coming back we're gonna build strength here we're gonna bring build core in the 30-day love series love yoga is all about the core because it's our core values and love is one of them all right forward fold straighten the legs and fold forward as far as you can hands on the floor step it back plank one more call to connect to your core. Knees on the ground, Chaturanga. Elbows over the wrists, pushing the shoulders forward. And come up, upward facing dog, shin bones off the floor. Lengthen the lower back here. Lengthen the neck, back of the neck. Great, knees on the floor. One more chaturanga, pull the belly in, exhale, down dog. Inhale the right leg up, step it through and take the right arm up, left hand stays down, twist. Reach over the head, exhale down, step it back, plank. Knees on the ground, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, take your shin bones off the floor. Knees back on the floor, chaturanga, pull the belly in, and down dog. Take the left leg up, step it through, right hand on the floor, left arm spins up, keep the back heel up, reach over the head, palm of the hand facing down, lower it down, step it back, plank, knees on the ground, chaturanga, upward dog. Knees on the ground, chaturanga, exhale, downward dog. And we're going to do a couple more of those. If you feel that the pace is a little too fast for you, in the YouTube settings, there is an option to slow down the class. You can press the 0 0.75 speed and adjust it to your liking. <laughs> you can stay with me, just breathe. Inhale, right leg comes up, step it through, left arm down, right arm up, reach over the head, press the right hip back, exhale down, lower it down, chaturanga of your liking, inhale, optional second chaturanga, exhale, take the left leg up, step it through, right hand down, left arm up, Reach over the head, lower it down, move through a chaturanga, up dog, and either straight to down dog or a second chaturanga of the knees, from the knees, not from the knees. Customize it to your own body. Inhale, right leg comes up, step it through, twist. Reach over the head. Exhale down, and you know it, yes, chaturanga, up dog, chaturanga optional, down dog, inhale the left leg up, step it through, let's take the left arm up, twist, reach over, lower down, step it back, 
Chaturanga, up dog, Chaturanga, down dog. Very good, you're doing good, breathe. And inhale the right leg up, step it through, twist. Now lower down, plank, and just take your left leg in and twist. Great. Lower down, step it back, really strong core, plank, opposite side, twist. Move with as much grace as you can. Make it look as if it's easy. A few more of these steps. Keep moving side to side, alternating, plank in between, core connected, left side, plank, right foot comes in, right arm up, and this time come up. And keep that twist going in your high lunge. Drop the right hand down the left leg and reach the left arm up. Great. Coming out of this, hands in prayer. And we're going to come standing on the right leg at the front of the mat as gracefully as we can. And from here, we're just going to tap the left leg behind us, kind of cross lunge or however you want, just diagonally, your leg comes behind. Draw it around and bring the knee to your elbow, core connecting. Draw it around to watch every movement, observe your body. Tune into your body, get out of the head, out of the thoughts, paying attention to your body. Breathe, a few more of those. Take it at your own speed. Last one. Squeeze. Are you squeezing the belly? Good. Step it back in. High lunge. Big breath in. Exhale down. Plank. Take the left leg up. Left arm up, lunge, and here, shift your weight onto your feet so we can peel the hands off. Keep that twist, reach up and over the head, right arm reaching up. Coming out of this, can you shift your weight to the left leg, stepping at the front of the mat? Good, and we're gonna Step it back and across, draw it around, elbow to knee. Step it back and across, pull the belly in. Step it back, pull the belly in. Keep the left knee over the ankle. Squeeze. We're almost there. Give me one or two more. Good, squeeze, pause. Step it back, high lunge. Big breath in. Exhale, plank. Hold the plank. Give me a really beautiful plank, your best plank. Lower down onto your belly, cobra. Back to down dog. Spread the fingers wide open. Walk your hands to the back of the room. Bend your knees, let your Body hang heavy here. Shake your head. 
softening the face muscles, relaxing the neck. Great, from here, bring your hands on to your shin bones, keeping the back straight. Pull the belly in and take chair again, yeah. Back to chair. Sit a little deeper and make sure that you're pushing your knees back as far back as you can. Really pull the belly in, feel your core awakening, strengthening, connecting. Feel the mind-body connection, very important in order to build a strong core. First we have to make the mind-body connection, otherwise we're not really working on it. We're just kind of doing exercises, moving through the motions, but you want to connect with awareness awareness of your body, how it's moving through space. Since we're doing crossing the threshold, so we're on the move, aware. Inhale coming out of this, arch. Looking up towards the ceiling, exhale chair. Give me a little deeper chair, sit a little deeper, pull the knees back. Imagine that you're sitting on a chair and this is effortless. This is easy breezy. You're just sitting. All right, hands on the hips. And we're going to shift the weight onto the right leg and take the left leg forward. And if you see that you're a little crooked here, square the knees. Knees are the same line, hip square. Very good. If you're shaking, that's a sign that Yes, you're stepping outside of your comfort zone into the unknown, opposite side. Use a metaphor, the metaphors in yoga to push you forward or to allow you to grow. And step it back, chair. Exhale, folding forward, walk to the front, plank, knees on the ground. And let's do a couple of chaturangas here just to practice them. So elbows over the wrists, shoulders forward, lower down, pull the belly in, hold, and press up. So instead of thinking of it as a push-up, think of it, my teacher used to say a love up. So lower down and just core move up. This is not a shoulder move, it is a strong core move. If you feel ready, you can take one knee off the floor, you can try with two, and press up. And upward dog, great, good job. Child's pose. Inhale, coming up. And you can sit on your heels or you can sit in easy pose, Sukhasana, which is just a comfortable easy pose, or on your heels. Let's turn the palms of the hands up. Take a nice deep breath. Hands over the heart. Gratitude that we were able to take this time to ourselves today and serve our body with consciousness, awareness, and love. Let's inhale the hands over the head. Exhale them over the third eye and over the heart, sealing the benefits of the practice today. And let's bow to our hearts for their forgiveness, compassion, and love. Thank you for joining me today. I'm very proud of everybody that is sticking 
with this let me know in the comments below how this is going for you share this practice please share it with anybody that you feel that may benefit from it make sure you're subscribed because you know what tomorrow is day seven and it will be fabulous remember to flow with strength and ease